So, mom and I are trying to get to this fortress. We've gone up like a million stairs. My legs feel like they're gonna fall off. And the stairs are like super rickety, not even. Where the heck is this fortress? So today I am in Kotor, Montenegro, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Carly, I am a food and travel vlogger, and I am currently on a 11-day cruise in, throughout the Mediterranean with my mom. Today we are spending the day in Montenegro, very excited, I've never been here, we don't have an excursion plan, so we are just going to kind of wander around and see where the day takes us. Um, of course, we're going to bring you guys along for everything, show you everything we see, do, and of course, all the food that we eat because that is the most fun. So I hope that you guys are ready for a fun time. Let's go get the adventure started. All right, guys, so we are going to be doing the hop on, hop off bus here in Kotor. Um, we actually didn't know that they had a hop on, hop off here, but as soon as you get off of the um, out of the port area, off of the water taxi from your ship, you're here on the in the main area there's tons of people selling the hop on hop off tickets excursions whatnot so lots of things you can do if you don't have an excursion booked already and so this is going to be a great way for us to see the city we'll get to see all the things we want to see and um super excited so we'll see you in a minute we we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars, like so many times before. And I know that we're not perfect, but I'm gonna miss all that we had. Yeah, I know that we're not perfect, but I need this night for the last time. Okay guys, we are in Harast and this is right on the bay. It's one of the first stops um, on the hop on hop off. You walk down a little walkway and for five euros you can take this boat and it's going to take us over to the Lady of the Rock or the island thing that's really cool looking. So here I'll leave their social media if you're interested in learning about them. But for five euros, I mean, that's a good deal. So let me show you the boat ride. All right, so we are here at Lady of the Rock, and this is a man-made island over here in Montenegro. It's right in the bay. It took 250 years for them to build this, and they made a church here. Um, I can't go in there right now because tours are in there, and they're giving them priority, obviously. Um, but there's also a souvenir shop, and there are restrooms on the island as well. And it's just beautiful here. So the sun is out, it's a glorious morning, and it's just a wonderful day to explore Montenegro. Mom and I are now gonna go explore the town of Parast. It is a little fishing village here on the bay, and it looks so idyllic, so cute. This is exactly the kind of town I love to explore. Um, it might be a little bit touristy, as you can see when you first come in, there's lots of different like souvenirs and things, but we're gonna see if we can maybe find somewhere to stop and get something to eat, get some local fare, and just do a little exploring. So I hope you guys are ready to come along with us. So mom and I are here at a restaurant called Armonia Parast, and it's right on the waterfront, and it's just a very cute place. Um, it is a full service restaurant, so they do have, you know, actual main menu items but we stopped in here because they have something that's called a parast cake and it's a local specialty so we thought we'd just come in for a little snack try it out and let you guys know if it's worth stopping in and grabbing this cake okay, i'm gonna taste it mm. 
Mmm. That's delicious. That is really good. So mom and I ordered Parast cake, which is a local specialty, and it's an almond cake that dates back to the 17th century. It looks delicious, very excited. Um, it's only 10.50 in the morning, so we're cheating a little bit with our meals and having a little bit of dessert before lunch. So let's give it a try and see how this cake is. Cheers, guys. Mmm. The cake is delicious. It is a thick cake, it's coarse, it's dense, it has chunks of the almond in it, and it's got the perfect amount of sweetness. I can definitely see why this is a local delicacy. If you come to Couture and you're coming to Pragas, 10 out of 10, highly recommend come and get this cake. Walk with me. Let's leave the past behind. Walk with me There's something else We need to find Okay guys, so we stopped for a meal here at Cesarica. Uh the, the waitress told me how to pronounce it because I was calling it Cesarica because, you know, I'm American. Don't know how to pronounce anything. Cesarica. Um, but this is a very well recommended restaurant here in the old town of Couture. Uh, it has very good reviews on Google, which is basically how I <laughs> picked this restaurant. Um, and we did it because they have some good local fares. So we did end up getting a couple items to try and I'm starving after walking around all morning. So very excited. And we will show you all of the food, of course, as soon as it arrives. All right, we ordered a appetizer of prosciutto and local cheese, and it's a beautiful platter. It also comes with a little basket of bread. The cheese is a Nagushki cheese, which apparently is like a region out here. Um, and it looks like regular cheese. Let's see. Mmm. It's good. It's cheesy though, I don't think mom's gonna like it. But it's good. Mm. It tastes a little bit like. 2,000 years later. So on the menu it says the cheese is from either a sheep or a goat. I'm not sure which, but it is very good. Has a really nice consistency. It's, it's mild, but it does have a little bit of a bite in the aftertaste. Delicious. And then my favorite part, prosciutto with a good piece of bread. It does taste like something it has. Mm. Mm. The prosciutto is nice and salty. It's perfect. Mm. And then the bread is really fluffy and light. I love prosciutto and bread, literally I think I've had it every day for the last three days. So. It's one of my favorite things in the world. So we're just sitting here eating lunch and these cats just come walking up and they are so cute. So we've been secretly feeding them a little bit. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I see a cat, I gotta feed it. So this is a tuna salad, salad with tuna. And it's real tuna and it's got cucumbers, let's see what it's got. Cucumbers, butter lettuce, I think, and some kind of very strong something, not onion, I don't think, and the tuna. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little oh, bit Oh, I bet of... the cat would like a little tuna. Oh, you Give smell my, tuna. no! I'm gonna give him my tuna. Good tuna. So mom ordered a tuna salad and this cat came right over and is now begging for the little for the tuna. How cute is that? So I ended up ordering Dalmatian steak, which is basically grilled steak with it comes with chard and potatoes. Apparently Swiss chard is a uh, popular dish here in Montenegro. Okay, let's try out the steak. 
Mm. Oh, that's delicious. It is good. Mm. It's very thinly sliced. And it reminds me almost of like a schnitzel, is what it reminds me of, but with steak. All right, let's try the potatoes and Swiss chard. I don't think I've ever actually had Swiss chard before. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Cheers. So the potato is kind of smooshed in with the Swiss chard, and the potato is very creamy. So it kind of covers up the bitterness of the, char the Swiss chard. It does have a little bit of bitterness to it, but it tastes kind of like, um, it almost reminds me of like a spinach au gratin. You know, when you eat spinach and it has that kind of like bitter aftertaste, that's what this is, but it's delicious. Okay, this food is amazing. I can highly recommend coming and trying this place out. Um, I, let me know in the comments below if you come and try it and if you have as good of an experience because this has been wonderful. Overall, definitely would recommend this place. I will leave all of their information down below in case you want to check them out. And then um, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're going to continue on. Mom and I are trying to get to this fortress. We've gone up like a million stairs. My legs feel like they're gonna fall off. And the stairs are like super rickety, not even. Where the heck is this fortress? Must be all the way at the top. Oh my God. <sighs> Let me show you guys some of the stairs. This is just one set of the stairs. We've gone up like 10 of these. Oh. Well, I guess we don't have to go on the walk. <laughs> Seeing the fortress will All be right. Happening. Let's keep going, guys. Make sure you wear good shoes if you plan on coming up to the fortress. <sighs> and then pray you don't have an emergency because good luck getting back down. All right, so we didn't make it to the fortress. Um, we ran into some people who were on a tour and their tour guide told them it's like 1400 steps. It takes 45 minutes for a fit person to do it, which let's be real, that is not me. Um, I also am not in good like hiking shoes because apparently there's a trail that leads up there. So that was a no go. So we did. Um, we did quite a lot of stairs, so I feel good about that. No, I, so we if you want to go up to the fortress, uh -huh. the fortress yeah. is up here. And, they said this be another and it's about 1,400 stairs. Oh, it's going to take about an hour to two hours, depending on your fitness level. Don't go if you're wearing sandals. Oh, it's awesome. Mom really wanted to go. I'm glad we didn't because we don't have water on us. We don't have closed-toed shoes. So it would not have been a good ending for us if we had done that. Yeah. Okay, so we found another little stairway thingy that leads you up to the wall, and there's this walkway along the wall. We have no idea where we're going, and we don't really know how to tell you how to get here. But if you're here and you see some stairs, you can go up it and walk along the wall. <laughs> so we are literally on a wall that um, was the way people kept other armies out. And I don't know if this is, uh, they've made this wall unnecessarily high because these are archers' holes. And the archers would have to stand here and shoot at the enemies coming. Let's go see what that little, see, the, and that is somewhere else where the um, knights would have stood to protect the city. These walls are like a thousand years old or more. If they were built in the 700s and it's 2022, somebody else can do the math. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we don't know what this thing is right here. And it's like on the edge of this giant wall, just sitting there somehow. <laughs> Mom and I can't figure Next it out. To Next to a satellite dish. dish. But 
It's obviously been there a while because there's plants and things growing around it. Okay, so we are here at Canoba Cantoon and we are just stopping in for some dessert because they have crepes. So mom and I decided we wanted a little sweet before we head back to the boat. So we are gonna order a crepe. This is uh, crepes, sweet crepes. They call it sweet pancakes here. That's what they call it. And uh, we're soon gonna find out, but I think it has Nutella in it. And I'm glad we only got one order because there's two giant ones. Mmm. Delicious. Is it Nutella? I haven't got the Nutella. Oh. The crepe is delicious. Really good chocolate. Mmm. All right, guys. So we ended up getting a crepe and it has chocolate and we think it's Nutella inside, which mom's not too happy about because she doesn't like Nutella, which is insane. I mean, who doesn't like Nutella? But she also doesn't like cheese, so you know. So it comes with two of these if one order, so it's actually quite a lot, but let's give it a try. Ooh, look at that goodness. Mmm, mmm. It's Nutella and it's delicious. It is so good. Mm. The crepe is really good. The, the actual pancake part of it has a really good chew to it. A little bit stretchy. It's warm, it's comforting. And then the chocolate sauce is really sweet, but it's just kind of like one of those explosions of flavors in your mouth of deliciousness. So this is the perfect way to end our day hey, that rhymed, in Couture. All right, guys, so we are back on the ship. We wanted to do a quick wrap up, but we had to catch our, um, our water taxi back to the ship. So go ahead and give your thoughts on Montenegro. Well, for a place that was never on my bucket list, well, I'm gonna say not even in a little part of my brain to come to Montenegro, it is a beautiful place. We had a wonderful time. The old town is just full of medieval buildings and we just had a wonder, and we lucked out. It's a beautiful day. It was like 72 and the sun was shining and there were a lot of cats, which made Emily so happy. Carly. <gasps> Did I say Emily? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Emily's my sister. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Carly! <laughs> made Carly so happy. Um, and if you ever can take a cruise that comes to Montenegro, I would highly recommend it. I've never been here before and I just thought it was lovely. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for our time here in Montenegro. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what there is to do. Obviously, we could only do so much. We only had about six hours. Um, if you come for longer than, you know, one day, obviously, there's so much more that you can do, and it's beautiful. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with us, and we'll see you in the next adventure. Bye. So today I am in Corfu, Monte no, Corfu, which is basically a chilled, or not chilled, grilled steak. Okay. Oh, there's another one coming. Success. Since mom's been taking some of my steak, I convinced her to let the cat have some of her tuna.